What is going on everybody? Prem here from pkwells.com and today we're gonna learn Ionic in just three steps. So let's get started. So first of all we're gonna check our machine whether our machine is compatible with Ionic development or not. Uh, whether the basic the basic requirements are installed in our machine or not. So to check that we're gonna go in the command line and we are going to check the node. So to open command line, go to run, type cmd and check node. See if node is installed by this command, node hyphen v, node space hyphen v. Okay, so it says that node is not installed. To install node, we just go to uh, Google and type node and we'll go to this website, this node.org and we, we're going to download this one. I have. I have already downloaded it so let's open it we're going to install node get and several different stuff so let's install it let's accept the basics I'm gonna do all the recommended stuff we're going to install this let's wait a bit the node basically comes with the NPM which is called node package manager which helps to gather the all the dependencies and all the all the uh, node modules that Ionic and Kritova uses. Our node is installed properly and let's check this out if it's working. Uh, if it is not it's still working we're gonna just close it and reopen our command and type node hyphen b and it's working and we can check npm hyphen v Okay, now we have node properly installed and npm is properly installed. Now, another thing that we're going to get. So first this step is now completed. In second step, we're going to be installing git, this git hcm.com and this visit studio code. So let's install git. So check whether git is installed in our machine or not. git hyphen hyphen version no so what we're gonna do is we will install this git uh, package or the software from here uh, let's install it very very quickly next 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 all the defaults i'm gonna use install it this is gonna take a little bit of time git is basically the uh, software configuration manager or version control system which pulls the uh, Ionic repository from the uh, GitHub, which is the open source uh, uh, repository uh, or the version control system. Ionic is hosted on the GitHub, so we need to install Git in order to get all these Ionic basic templates and, and the files that is actually uh, needed. Cool. Okay. I think it is now installed. Finish. So we'll close it and reopen the command and let's check out git hyphen hyphen version. Woo. We have git installed properly. So now now we need a text editor. I love Visual Studio Code. Uh, so let's install Visual Studio Code also. You can use any any text editor like Notepad, Notepad Plus Plus. Sublime, whatever you want. But I like Visual Studio Code. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, let's wait for it. Okay, now um, Visual Studio Code has been installed. Now we have all the dependencies installed. So the second step is now completed. First, we installed Node. We installed, then we installed Git and the Visual Studio Code, and that's it. Now we'll use the npm of the Node to get the Ionic and Cordova. Cordova is basically the browser system in the uh, made for Android and cross-platform scenarios and Ionic is the framework which actually uh, mimics the Android or the or the iOS components in, in HTML and CSS form and uh, it gives the feeling of uh, the Android user interface. So let's do it. So to install Ionic or we're going to be doing a search. We, we're going to Google the Ionic first. Ionic, just write Ionic. 
and the first link comes just go there and it's very simple workflow just start building apps click here so ionic CLI will be installed by this uh, command so we'll use npm we're gonna run this command on our command line so let's write npm install hyphen g for global Cordova Ionic enter this will download all the all the basic stuff that is hosted on the npm repository and uh, <coughs> it will fetch the Ionic and Cordova both of them and install properly on our machine so this is gonna take a little bit of time so let's wait for this well it looks like Ionic is successfully installed you can see here so let's check whether Ionic is properly installed we can run Ionic hyphen V for checking the Ionic version and it's good and now we'll check for Cordova Cordova hyphen V let's say yes yeah we have eight Cordova 8 installed and I am 3.19 good that's clear okay so uh, this step has been completed now we will create our very first Ionic application. So to do that, I'm going to create a folder here. Folder. I'll name it Ionic. Let's open this. I'll do Alt D and I'll write CMD to open CMD at this or command line at this at this folder. You can see the desktop Ionic has been already there. So we'll create our first Ionic application here. So to do that, we are going to run some, some commands. And the second command is start an app. Okay, so we'll do Ionic start, our app name and our app, app type. So let's write that. Ionic start. Uh, let's say hello world hello world this will be our application name and we will go for tabs this is going to build the uh, application infrastructure and all those good things just make enter say yes now npm i will install the the basic node modules there and this is our application created so after some time we'll see here the node modules folder this is gonna take a bit of time to gather all the dependencies from npm okay now npm modules has been already installed so uh, it is asking for Ionic Pro SDK. We are not gonna install this right now. We'll do it somehow in the future. Okay, so now we are ready with the Ionic application. Now we'll go in the project directory. To do that, we're gonna do CD tab, and this is our project. So now we are inside the project directory. So we'll open this in VS Code. So we'll just do code space dot enter. This will open our application or our, our project directory into the VS Code environment. And this is a great text editor. This is going to open it. Okay, this is our, our file. All the files are here. This is source and pages. So without wasting time, let's run our application in the browser so that we can view how our application is looking. Uh, we just need to do Ionic Serve. Ionic serve 
command and enter this will compile transpile all the all the typescript files into the single spy application and it will serve it into our browser with live reload functionality this is now transpiling our typescript files into the single javascript uh, javascript files so that uh, it can be served over the browsers and it will serve our application see we're gonna choose google chrome always okay this is our application it's just gonna be hosted here i'll do inspect element and just bring a mobile view so that we can see how our application is working choose galaxy s okay this is our our basic ionic, ionic template application with tab templates and let's just modify it in our own way let's name it uh, something that we like <laughs> okay so this is our basic project structure uh, everything is transpiled from here so we are only concerned with this this stuff here this is app module and this is uh, pages that we see there so we have currently uh, three pages and one tabs so we are going to modify so that we can understand how stuff works so this is the title that we are seeing so let's let's bring our browser here so that we can see what is going on so we'll modify the application name with our our choice so we'll make it hello ionic and we'll see welcome to welcome to mobile world and we we hit save file save or we can do control s to save it and we go to the browser and it is automatically updating and in the background it's an, uh, it's building again and transpiled again oh now you can see hello ionic is there and welcome to mobile where our changes is reflected here okay so this is how we create our ionic application and uh, this is the the basic workflow that we choose to build the ionic application we can modify these text anytime to to write whatever and we just hit control s and it is automatically updated and build in browser cool you can see whatever is there and we can modify we can add new tabs we can add new page we can add menus and everything here and i'll show you all these things in the next videos or upcoming videos okay so this is how any can be uh can be installed in our machine and used we can play around with it and we can go to the documentation here you can see the docu developers getting started and documentation ui and api reference and na native so we'll talk about these stuff in upcoming videos till then have a great time and do enjoy ionic if you have any questions comments if you have if you want to see anything in upcoming videos please do comment below if you have any issues with installing Ionic and, and any other dependencies, you can just comment it there and I'll reply as soon as possible. Till then, have a great time. Bye-bye.